welcome back to our rich youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make this drop shoulder simple blouse with cape okay so this is the cape and it's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly this is what you like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you okay so to make this top it's actually a free top it's not fitted so we're not going to be using any that for this so now i've drafted drafted like my basic bodies for this now so this is my neckline this is my shoulder slope this is the ham o and this here is the chest line this is the waistline and this is the full blouse length which is also the hip line so we are not going to be cutting out the neckline yet or just to indicate your neckline mark you can just measure like one inch downwards here and then draw out that space for your neckline but it's really not necessary because it's going to be slanted it's a mono strap like a mono strap okay so now i have this now this is my actual measurements and this is the two inches allowance that i left i'm going to cut this out so there is no zipper allowance for this because there is not going to be any zipper because of the neckline the neckline is quite wide so the head is going to be able to pass through it without a zipper okay so now i have this as my shoulder so now this is what we have and you open it out this is what we have and like i said it's going to be like a mono strap so from one shoulder here i'm going to be slanting it towards the other edge but to make it easier for us especially for a beginner i'll be joining the sleeves to it so that we can just cut it out easily so now i'm going to set these basic bodies aside now and then i'm going to show us our sleeve so this is the sleeve it's just a basic sleeve i have a detailed tutorial on how to draft this basic sleeve already on the channel okay so if you don't know how to do this you can go there and check how to draft a basic sleeve so now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and then i'm going to join our sleeve together okay i'm going to be joining the sleeve to the main bodies and then i'm going to be shaping the main bodies also then i'll bring it back to show us how we are going to be slanting this okay so i'm going to have to sew it together i've joined the sides together the shoulder seam and then i want her to add my two sleeves okay so the sleeve length depends on how long you want your sleeve to be it is totally optional just watch the video on basic sleeves you'll be able to know how to draft yours also okay now the next thing we're going to do now is to do our like one shoulder effect so and to do this now from where i have my sleeve joining here where i joined my sleeve that's where my arm all stops i'm going to measure the shoulder that i'm working with already which is four inches okay which i already have when i drafted so i'm just going to note it for this illustration purpose okay so this is the one with the one that was going to have the shoulder and this is the one that's going to be having like a drop shoulder here so after having that here where i joined the second shoulder here on that side where it's going to be dropping there i'm going to be measuring four inches from this upper from this place like the handhold here i'm going to measure four inches downwards which is this okay so now depending on the shape that you want your slant to have you can have it a bit curved or you can have it to have like a sharp v so if you want like a sharp free you're just going to use the straight part of your ruler and if you want a bit curve you you use this part of the ruler so as i want it sharp I'm just going to place my ruler from the point from this shoulder point here to the four inches mark that i went down on my ham hole area so now i'll take the ruler now and then connect them together okay so after connecting them this is what i have i hope it's visible okay i hope the chalk is visible so now we move to the drop shoulder part of this so that's why i said we should just cut it together because assuming i cut it separately now we need to draft like a cold shoulder sleeve which may not be easy for a beginner so if you sew everything together it will be easy for you to just picture what 
you want to get okay so now on the shoulder from where the sleeve starts now i want to i will determine how dropped i want my shoulder to be okay if you want it really dropped you can go as high as maybe six inches five inches seven inches but if you want it moderate you can do three or four so let's say i'm doing like five inches okay so from where i join my sleeve to it on the part that is going to be the like the off shoulder part i'll take my temper now and measure five inches downwards on the sleeve area okay so i have my five inches like this how this chalk is visible so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect this five inches point to where my off shoulder stops here okay so now i'm just going to place my ruler now and then connect this together like this so that is how you need to do and like i said if you want it a bit curved also it doesn't have to be sharp you can use the curved side of your ruler to just have something like this so now i'm going to be cutting this part out so that was why i said you don't need a zipper for this because this neckline is wide enough to enter any head size so okay so this is what we have now and this is our shoulder drop if you don't want yours to be this drop you can just go up by maybe remember we measured five inches down what you can do maybe three inches three and a half or four inches so this is what we have now the next thing now is to draw out our cape so for the cape you just fold your fabric into two like this your main fabric you fold it into two then after folding the fabric into two you bring in your your blouse okay so now this edge uh, this the one with the shoulder i'm going to placing it on the upper part like this i'm just leaving like half inch before i place it for my seam allowance so i'll be placing it on the upper part like this and then i'm going to be arranging the blouse okay i hope you can see it so now after arranging the blouse like this you're going to be bringing your sleeve downwards like this the way it is supposed to be okay remember this is how it's going to be dropping on your shoulder so once you do this now i'm going to be marking the shape that i have here you can cut it directly okay so let's say we are cutting this directly now i'm just going to go down the bit leave space for allowance and then i'm going to be cutting this so you can actually either mark it or cut it directly like i'm doing so i want it to be very feasible that's why i'm cutting it directly okay so now i've cut out that shape that i have now i can remove my pattern so now you determine how long you want your cape to be on the shoulder part remember that's the longest part so here i think around 10 inches or 11 inches is okay for me so i'll mark my 11 inches like this okay so after marking the 11 inches you're going to take your ruler and then connect from that 11 inches mark diagonally to the other shoulder point here that's where your sleeve is so my ruler cannot take this so i'm going to try to do this in bits okay so now i take my ruler and then connect like this and then to this point so that is your cape so after connecting it now i'm going to cut it out so i'm going to be cutting four of this two for lining two for main fabric that is if you are using the same fabric for your lining but if you are using different fabrics you cut two for your main fabric and then two for the lining because we are going to be putting the cape in front also so now i'm going to be notching this upper part here so that i know it's the upper part because they actually look similar so now we have this if i bring in my blouse now you will see what this is going to look like okay so now i'm going to be sewing this to our blouse and it's just going to give us sorry and so this long part is for the one with shoulder so i'll just look for my notch okay so this is the notch this is the upper part so from here now i'm going to be sewing this 
to our blouse but before that we are going to be turning it out first okay so i'm gonna have to cut this now and like i said i cut one on a plain fabric and the other one on a car fabric and then i turned them i just sew it round and then i turned it so the upper the open part here is the upper part that i notched you can see my notch here which i'm going to be sewing to the upper part of this so now i'll take it to the sewing machine now and then i'm going to sew this to turn my neckline so i'm going to sew it like this so that i can use it to turn my neckline so now to sew it remember it's supposed to fall like this so i'll place them this now becomes my right side why this becomes the wrong side for the cape so now i place place it like this and then by the time i sew it i can fold it so that my plain part will be underneath so i'll go and do that now and then we'll go to the mannequin to see what we have okay so we've added our cape to it now i can see our drop shoulder so it depends on how dropped you want it to be you know what to do so you can see that this tutorial is very simple to make and it's really beautiful and it's very beginner friendly also so the color part now you can decide to use your ankara fabric or you use a plain fabric so that it can really show like i did for mine i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye